Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Investor Financing Podcast. And these are the Q&A sessions. Uh, thank you for asking your questions. Remember, you can go to InvestorFinancingPodcast.com forward slash ask. And you can uh, put your questions in there and we'll answer them live on one of these sessions. So let's get started t- today. We got Bill that's going to be helping out. And let's get started with question number one. The first one comes from Rick. He says, hi, Bo. At the beginning of the year, my partner and I purchased a printing business. This business is well established and has been operating for over eight years. We purchased the business with SBA 7A financing. We would like to purchase a newer digital printing machine, which will greatly increase our output and drive revenue. We have strong credit and the business has done well and is ramping up. Any thoughts on the best way to finance, SBA or equipment financing? The cost of the equipment is $265,000, including installation. Thanks. All right. So SBA would be um, a good choice because it's longer amortization. You're going to get a 10-year term versus most equipment is 48 or 60 months. So um, your payments can be spread out over time. The, the, The cons of SBA financing is, well, you already have SBA financing. It's a full doc loan. You're only you recently acquired this business, um, so there might be some challenges with your uh, DSCR, your debt service coverage ratio, um, being newer. So that might be a challenge. And obviously, SBA takes a little bit longer than equipment financing. I think your obstacles with the equipment financing, even though this is an existing business that's been established for eight years, you've only owned it for less than a year. So equipment financing looks at time and business. Now. That doesn't matter. We can still get you equipment financing. Uh, Sometimes when we go out and get quotes, you might need to put down five or 10% uh, on the, on the first payment. And then they'll do 48 to maybe 60 months terms. Sometimes you can get a little bit longer extension on equipment financing by far. I guess my point is by far equipment financing would be better and easier on this um, as far as getting the financing. And it sounds like you want to move quickly on this versus the SBA would be a lower payment, but it might might uh, take a lot more paperwork and a lot more perseverance, perseverance rather, to get it done. Because you know on your SBA deal, I don't know how smoothly it went because I didn't finance it, but they, they take a little bit more elbow grease to get to, to the finish line. So either one, either one could be an option. I think you just book a call below. We could talk about the differences. And um, if you're looking to do this quickly before the end of the year, it's definitely gotta be equipment finance type of deal. Typically, those are closing in three to five days, depending on how fast you get your paperwork. It's a light dock loan. Uh, usually, you don't have to provide all your all your tax returns and so forth. So anyways, hope that helped a little bit. And um, just remember, time in business is less than a year because you don't get the credit for the eight years of the existing business that you did purchase from an equipment finance standpoint. Hi, this is Bo Eckstein, host of the Investor Financing Podcast. I appreciate you checking out our channel. On this podcast, we talk about real estate, investing, financing, business lending, and acquiring and expanding your business. I'm sure you will find some videos here that will help you build your business empire. There's a lot to see. Take your time and make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks again. Hey guys, Bo Exine here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.